to the LEC. I'm standing here with the victorious Super after a pretty convincing victory, uh, I want to say. How does it feel to get the third win on the board? <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty happy, not gonna lie, because we come from two losses that were hard for us because I believe we could get it, but we didn't play well into BDS, we didn't finish good into G2, so it's good to do well the things again. Before I ask you anything else related to the game or however it is, I want to ask you about the LEC experience. You know, you turned so many heads at EMEA Masters last year, and everyone was like, oh, Super in LEC, Super in LEC, this guy's insane, he's Jinx, he's Aphelios, he's Hyper Carries. But how has it been for you on that transition from the ERLs to the big stage? Mm -hmm. I thought it will be harder, not gonna lie, but after the first week of screaming, I, this come more natural, you are up to playing to better people, you enjoy more, the game become more, more interesting. So I really love it. And the experience in the studio, I will say, is insane, amazing, because day by day with the fans, uh, one by one, you see the enemy, you, you see his face and you say, I want to destroy him. Is that what you have thought? Yes. For who specifically? Everyone. Every sing okay, every single lady carrier you want to destroy, <laughs> that's very respectable. Now, for you coming down to the studio and having all these fans, of course today, it's a Monday, you know, it's a, it's a work day, maybe they couldn't make it, but you have said that there were 30, 40 fans in the studio that were cheering for you guys consecutively for a lot of days. And I asked you if it, compared to the Montpellier atmosphere in the hmm. EMEA Masters Finals last year? I think we never feel, I mean, this player, maybe El Joya different, but the rest, we didn't get the fans uh, cheering for us that much. So it's a beautiful moment when you kill someone, people shouting, shouting, you get so motivated. And in Montpellier it's different, but when you hear people sat up in the stadium, it's an amazing moment as well. So close to that reverse hoop, super, <laughs> but you did make it to the LEC and that is all that matters and you're doing amazingly well. Now, can I ask you, who do you think from your team deserves to get Kia player of the game? Mm, I think uh, we played good, everyone. I think everyone play as a team, play for the win condition, but if I need to choose, to choose someone, I will say Alvaro. I think he did pretty well, he was on point, he was confident, mm -hmm. so he this comp works a lot through here and he played really well. Love that you're crediting your support a lot. Do you think you played well? Me? Yeah? I think I played a good game. You played so damn well because <laughs> you are the Kia player of the game, Super. <laughs> now, of course, we talked a little bit about your transition from the ERLs to the LEC. You have gotten these three wins under your belt. Must feel quite confident. How is the pressure when people build you up to be that next AD carry and actually join the league and playing against mm -hmm. all the greats? I mean, I will say the pressure was not that much. At least I feel like this. I think I never feel more pressure than I pressure myself or my coach pressure me. So it's not different, I will say. So when you start uh, knowing how to understand yourself, how to manage that emotion and trust, uh, transform the scare or fear into confidence, you become a really better player. And is that what you're working on right now? Yes. And it shows day by day from your <laughs> gameplay. Now, I want to ask you one last cheeky question. Who is your number one competition in the LEC? Mm, I mean, you are talking about team or player? Player. Mm, I will say, I will say Hansama. I th okay. I think uh, when we play into G2 Bolden in general, uh, I have a lot of fun compared to, to the rest because I think they, they are one level ahead of the rest. Okay, maybe you do hopefully make it into the playoffs then so you can have your chance to, as you quoted, destroy Hans Sama <laughs> next time you play him on the Rift. Super, thank you very much for joining me for this interview. We're going to go straight on to the Telestrator where Gulbog and Trimby are standing by.